All right, guys, we are back doing an update. This is some new products. There's a lot to show in this video, so stick around. Make sure you guys hit that like video right now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All of this stuff plus more is going on my website, bricktactical.com, this Friday, which is April 22nd at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are a Halo fan or you just like custom Lego accessories, get ready set a reminder i'm going to tell you guys right now there's a link in the description to join my discord at around 6 45 i'm going to be hopping on the voice chat and i'm going to be talking with you guys as you guys buy this stuff so it's going to be really fun i try to do that whenever i do a big release and then obviously i'll be posting about this on instagram on friday as well so without further ado there is a lot of stuff here as you can see i'll just give you guys a quick kind of you know, quick showcase here, and then we'll go in depth here. And um, yeah, this this has been accumulating for a while. So I've been ready to do this release for a while. And like I said, this isn't all of it. And I'll talk about that more here in a second. There's more, but this is, I would say, 80% of it. So I have to do this video. I have to get this out on Thursday. So that's why we're here. So probably just going to start with the first thing that everyone's wanting. We finally have custom injection molded Halo Marine helmets. So if I bring this over, or maybe I could bring the light over here a little bit closer to these guys. These have been in the works for a while now. Since I did, I think a Halo release a couple months ago, everyone's been hounding me for these and finally got on and did them. And as you can see here, well, I got them on a minifigure so I can show you guys this. They turned out amazing. They are just perfect, perfect amount of detail, just enough to get the job done to make them look recognizable, but it's not over detailed. It's very Lego-like, and that's exactly what I wanted. So we have them available in a bunch of colors. They'll be available in dark tan. We have white, dark bluish gray, tan, olive green, reddish brown, which is gonna be a fun one. And there's actually a couple more colors that I'm still working on. That's part of what I was talking about. We're also gonna have black, we're gonna have olive drab green, which is a little bit darker. It's actually quite a bit darker than the uh, normal olive green. And then we'll also have gunmetal. So I'm working on those tomorrow and Friday. So those will be for sale. They're just not here right now. So bunch of colors. I mean, look at these, these are gorgeous. Oh yeah, and one thing I do have to point out that's so cool is if you look in there, it says BT, and then it also says USA. These are literally molded downstairs in my garage here in Washington State. I make these literally in-house, like literally in-house. So each one of those has a BT and a USA on it. Just icing on the cake for such an awesome helmet. Reddish brown, I did these today. These are one of my favorite colors. It's hard to pick a favorite because I love dark tan so much, but then I molded like reddish brown, and the reddish brown looks so good. And um, it's just really hard to uh, pick a favorite color. So guys, these are going to sell fast, so definitely get those. And then I have a bunch of swirled marine helmets that I might be giving out as freebies. So we've got some really cool like marbled, marbled ones. We've got some random like swirled ones. Like here's a dark gray and brown swirl. It's kind of hard to see. But I might be giving these out as freebies. So I'll talk more about that later, probably on Instagram. So marine helmets. Achievement unlocked. We finally got marine helmets. Let's see if I can get some good pictures. It's kind of hard with the light, the way it's shining here, but uh, we've got marine helmets and I'm really stoked about those. I guess I can show you guys another, oh, as I drop the minifigure, I'll show you this one. This one's another favorite. And this is gonna kind of segue into our next thing I'm gonna show you. So we got the dark tan there and uh, he is wearing a new vest and a new backpack or a radio pack. So let's talk about those for a second. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of vests and we've got a bunch of other stuff. So let's just go through it real quick. So I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this. There's three vests, there's two jet packs and there's one radio pack. So let me show you one of each of the vests. So we've got this design, this design and this design. So these are the three designs. So this is the classic like Halo CE chest plate armor piece. So we've got that. We've got this one here with a bunch of pouches. I really like this one. And this one has a stud on the back. And then we've got this one, which is a little bit different of a pouch configuration. And it also has a stud on the back. So we've got those three variants and then they're available in a bunch of colors. We've got gunmetal. we got dark bluish gray. We've got dark tan. 
I'm gonna be doing olive green. We've got reddish brown for those Halo CE fans. So you guys are gonna be able to take a reddish brown marine helmet and put it with a reddish brown armor piece and it's gonna look awesome. So for anyone that's played the original Halo, that's the best combo probably ever. So def definitely get those if you're an OG Halo fan. So we've got olive green that I'm gonna be molding tomorrow. And then let's see here. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna be doing black. So if you guys just want jet black, I'm gonna be doing those as well. And then I know some of the military fans are probably gonna pick these up for military figures as well. And then we also have the backpacks or the radio packs. So they've got the stud on the back there and we flip it around. We've got the actual radio pack there. So that can go on the back of the vests. And then we also have two jet packs. Let me show you the dark tan colors. So we've got two jet packs. We've got the deployed, I'm gonna call it, cause he's actually like, the jets are out. And then the just standing. So if you have Marines just standing around, probably wanna get this one. Or if you want them in flight, you can get this. So they also have the stud on the back as well. And they just go on the back of the, uh, you know, just like this. So we've got two jetpacks, so that's gonna be awesome. Once again, available in, I think the jetpacks are available in three colors. So we've got all those. Guys, we're not done yet, stick around. Don't leave the video yet. Um, <laughs> so we've got all of that. I guess this might be kind of out of order, but let's just get these out of the way. I finally did plasma grenades in transparent blue. So these are gonna be sold as a four pack. We've got those in transparent blue, but we also did, I did these in purple and then they're UV printed on both sides with a green accent. So you can get the best of both worlds right here. So I think this is super cool. I've always wanted to do plasma grenades and um, they were probably one of my favorite things in the game. So we've got a bunch of those as well. We've also got the trans blue ones. I'd probably get both. I love these. The printed ones are gonna sell out fast. And then speaking of grenades, we also have these. We have generic Halo Spartan frag grenades. So we've got those in olive green and gunmetal. There's not many gunmetal. I will say that even though olive green, I think is a little more accurate of a color maybe. I don't know, it depends on your, um, you know, your pick there. But uh, we've got olive green and reddish brown, or not reddish brown, gunmetal. What else? There was one more thing. Oh yeah, then we've got spike grenades. So we've got these here. I'm not gonna pick them up, but you've seen these on Instagram maybe. We finally did the spike grenade. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So we've got spike grenades in gunmetal, silver, and black. This is another fun one. I finally wanted to do the Halo Golf Club from, I can't remember the game mode, but you can finally have a golf club. So I think that's pretty funny. So we've got those and then, Oh yeah, let's get this out of the way. I finally did, everyone's been begging me to do energy swords in trans red. So we have trans red with gunmetal overmolded handles. Those are like my new favorite overmold. They are super simple, super clean looking, really excited with how those turned out. So we've also got, let's see, where do I go? Um, this is kind of a random one. I did some more of these rigs. These ones are in white. They were never made in white, so that's kind of cool. That'll be a new option. Um, Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff to still go over. Let's go over these two. I haven't shown this one actually. We've got two, I think these are, well, there's more, but we've got finally the battle rifle, which is awesome as I drop it, that's fine. Then we got the bulldog. I finally did this one. I think this one's a really cool one. And um, we got him in black. And then we also have, we've got the battle rifles in gunmetal. We've got them in black. And then we have printed ones. So let me go ahead and move this over here and I can start showing you guys some of the printed stuff. So we've got printed battle rifles. We've got some printed ARs. This one's like my favorite. This is for like all the OG fans. It says X39 on the back and then Brick Tactical on the front. That's pretty sweet. Then we've got like the generic like, you know, printed like scheme. We've got those on black and gunmetal as well. We've got printed commandos. I did a really good picture on Instagram that shows these off a little bit better. So we've got printed commandos. Those are awesome. We've got those in a couple different colors. We've got red, blue. We've got these ones were like test prints, but they turned out really nice. So it's just kind of like a white skeleton. I think that's really cool. We've got this skin on the DMR, probably one of my favorite skins, super clean and just looks awesome. These are UV printed on both sides for those that are wondering. Then another one of my favorites is the Magnum with the little shark emblem. I think that's super rad. So we've got that. Um, oh yeah, 
Then of course, these were super popular on Instagram. We have the fuel rod gun or the fuel cannon and we've got pearl or I call it metallic gold. And then we've got purple. So those are gonna be really popular. And then let's see, is that it for the printed stuff? Oh no, we've got also these guys. These are really cool. So I showed the red sniper off on Instagram, but I did not show the camo Halo 3 sniper. So that's really cool. I really like, this one's super clean. Just super nice lines to it and uh, looks really good. So we've got two printed snipers. Once again, I've never done printed weapons before. Um, at least like this, I've done just generic camos, but these are very detailed and like perfectly placed detail. I've never done that before. So I'm really excited to start doing that. And then a couple other printed things. We have the skull from Oddball, I believe it is, in a tr on a transparent blue head. So that's pretty cool. We've got a bunch of those. We've also got the bomb from, I can't remember what it's, I think it's just like search and destroy their equivalent. It says, hold on to your butt. And uh, it's got the bomb print on olive green head. So we've got those. Another thing we've got, these, okay, this is one of the things that isn't done that I'm gonna be working on tomorrow. We've got the Covenant carbine and we've got the beam rifle. We've got, these have never been made before in Lego. So we've got these two. These will be available in purple. So these are just test. Actually the beam rifle, I have 30 and gun metal but they're gonna be mainly available in purple. So this is a good close up look at that guy there. So I'll be making these in purple tomorrow. So I'm trying to make sure I got everything. So we've got printed weapons, we've got new weapons, we've got new printed weapons, like new weapons that are also printed. Um, we've got vests, jetpacks, some overmolds, we've got grenades, we've got marine helmets, we've got a bunch of stuff guys. So. This has been a long past, I don't know how long I've been working on this. Couple weeks have been very intense, but I've been working on some of this stuff for months. So if you guys like what you see, highly suggest you guys go over to my website, Friday, April 22nd, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you don't know what time that is in your time zone, just look it up on Google and uh, make sure you guys set an alarm. And like I said, I'll be on Discord, link in the description. So I know this was a just extremely product oriented video, but I had no other way to show this. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna wanna see this. And like I said, this is not all of it. I still got the olive green vest to do, the black vest to do, and a couple other things like the beam rifle and the covenant carbine in purple. And uh yeah, there's a lot. So let me know what you guys think, what your favorite item is. Are you going to get something? Are you not? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, for all the people that are on my Discord, you're probably taking a bunch of screenshots and putting them in my Discord and uh, starting conversations, which is awesome. That's what I want. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you guys Friday on Discord. Peace out, guys.